Hey you guys, it's Melanie with Hometown Paints and I got some new stencils today and I wanted to come on here and show them to you and paint something with you guys. So if you end up loving these stencils as much as I do, you can go to Essential Stencils. Let me flip this real fast if I can remember how to do it. <laughs> oh, that's not it. No, okay that one and that one and that one oh there we go <laughs> okay there's it's a normal way now essential essential stencils okay so if you decide that you want to paint this then you can use my code hometown paints and get a little bit of a discount on your order and you should totally do that all right so let me get this right <laughs> all right so the stencil set that I have today is a barn quilt stencil, and they're they're small. They're six by six stencils, so they're little. And we already had some pieces of wood cut out, and I'd already painted them white. And I'm trying to um, decide which one to use. So, essential stencils come with a little black piece of paper in there that kind of helps you see what the stencil is. So, let me get this right. Um, comments appear here, okay. Um, if you come on and you say hello, I, hopefully I can see <laughs> what it says because I forgot my iPad in there. All right, so there's this one and there's this one and then there's this one my hair's everywhere hmm which one y'all i can't decide i've made really big barn quilts so i haven't ever made a small one like this i think i'm gonna do this one i think i don't know <laughs> So I'm just going to center it. I'm gonna eyeball it. Now you could get the um, the ruler out and all that good stuff, but I won't ever do that. I won't say never, but. All right, so it's kinda in place. So you can either just like hold it in place really well, or you can hopefully have your masking tape close to you and you can just tape it down a little bit that way you don't have to hold it because you definitely don't want it to move while you're doing this right all right now you can buy stencil brushes thanks I like them all too I think I have to make like all three of them <laughs> um, you can buy stencil brushes and I do have some of those um, let me see if I can show it to you yeah here's one so it's like it's really big right so I use these a lot on the big uh, porch leaners it's got a really flat um, surface right there so when you kind of blot like this you just bob up and down like this you it doesn't push the bristles under the stencil but you can also use if you don't always take the best care of your brushes <laughs> or if they're just old this one's really old it gets kind of like frayed out right there you can you can use this too the main difference is this is like stiffer and this is not right so that's the thing you don't want to push down so hard that you're pushing the paint under the stencil and that's the issue with stencils y'all so if you like these stencils that i'm using today you can go to essential stencil and type in hometown paints all one word capital letters like in the coupon code and you'll get a discount we all like discounts right all right, so I'm just using like shades of blue 
which is my go-to. I made a big um, barn quilt thing, pit not thing, painting, <laughs> um, and it's in my living room, but I didn't stencil that. I drew that out, and these are kind of hard to draw out because they are very symmetrical, and it's easy to mess it up, so these stencils are nice. And I'm not sure if I'm going to use all these colors, but I wanted to squirt them out and just to see what I think I want to do. Okay, I think what I just decided was to do the dark, the darkest in the middle. So, here's what you do, y'all. Um, no matter if you're doing a great big stencil or a small one, you put the paint in the brush, or <laughs> the brush in the paint. And then you kind of like blot it off over to the side. Because you don't want a whole ton of paint on there. Because if you have a bunch of paint on there, it's going to leak under the stencil. So I blotted it off. I got some paint. I blotted it off. And now I'm just going to like pounce up and down. Right where I want this to be. And you got to be careful. You don't go into the other part since I'm doing these different colors. So I'm just very lightly like bouncing up and down over and over and over because it's very easy to use too much and it go underneath your stencil and that's always a bummer. And that's hard for me to see. So it looks super messy right now, right? But it's very cool when you take it off. <laughs> and I got a little bit over there. But since we're using shades of blue today, I think it's okay. It's okay, no matter what. It's just something you're making. Mistakes will happen. It's just paint. You can paint right over it. All right. So, I got all the spots covered, I think, and we're going to let that dry, and I'm going to wipe this off, and I should have changed my water out, but I didn't. Alright, now I think going to do that color um, this is one of my favorite teal colors I use it all the time it's a folk art paint and it's called Dutch aqua Thanks, Terry. I think they're cute, too. I'm excited to see what they all look like. And I feel like I should make them in a variety of colors, but I always go to these blues. So what other colors do y'all think I should use? I thought about doing bright colors, but I didn't know if that would look weird. Now, if you are thinking about making one of these yourself and you want to make sure that you don't forget about this video, you can share it to your page um, just to save it for yourself. And if you decide you want to order some stencils, and you can do stencils on a lot of different things, right? Um, You can stencil, you could actually, this is, I just had an idea, you could <laughs> stencil this on the wall, like if you wanted to, because I've been thinking about wallpaper in my bathroom, and I keep looking at these cool wallpapers, 
that are on the internet and they're like a million dollars. Like you can buy one roll for like, I don't know, 30 or $40. And I'm like, well, God, I need more than one. It's going to cost a small fortune to do that. So I thought I could just go in my bathroom and paint. But I could also go in my bathroom and stencil this stuff on it. Wouldn't that be cool? That would take forever, but it would look really stinking cool. You could put them on fabric. Just have to have the right kind of paint. They have all kinds of different stencils that essential stencil. Um, I've shown y'all before where I've made the porch leaners so they have those like great big stencils and then they have lots of these cute little three packs well there we go that um, they have holiday ones they have sorry I'm thinking <laughs> they have like I, I've got some that say like farmhouse and welcome that are like cursive they look like print I don't know they got all kinds of stuff so if you go to their website and you decide to buy some stuff just make sure you put in hometown paints in the coupon code section so you get a discount and they ship pretty quickly I always think I have enough of these and then I'm like they come out with new ones they have holiday ones that are super cute and I end up buying more. <laughs> you just want to make sure you wash out your brush in between each color. And I think I'm going to put this one out here. So just, whoops, make sure before you put the brush down on the canvas or wood that you get some of that paint back off there. You're going to put really thin layers because if you don't it'll just squirt and squeeze and squish underneath the stencil and then you will be sad. <laughs> Alright so now I'm gonna go back over them. So I'm gonna keep washing this brush out. I'm gonna start back with this one. Cause if you look at it, like it's not real good and like covered, right? Ooh, I could also do red, white, and blue, like for red, white, and blue stuff. <laughs> red, white, and blue holidays. overlap that this one's so small it's a little bit hard to do with this big old brush maybe should have got a smaller brush Let's see what happens when I just I'm probably gonna mess this up <laughs> yep I'll wash it out Just get back in there and do one more little coat. And if you didn't do this, like it'll give it kind of a washed out look. And sometimes that's good too. Like sometimes that's what you want. It kind of looks like it's old. And y'all, is it still cold where y'all are? Cause I'm about to freeze. <laughs> Ready for warm weather. Take this sweater off. My problem is I don't like washing my brush out. <laughs> I'm 
when I'm painting a picture, I don't have to do that as much. This is real, um, it really needs a second coat, but this color blue, I can see it. You're looking rough. And even though I am doing this the right way and using little bits of paint at a time and layers, there is still a chance when I pull this off here that some has run underneath. It just never fails. And I'll show you something that you can do if that happens to you. We are almost done. Okay. Y'all ready to see it? <laughs> um, I'm gonna peel, well, I thought I would peel this tape up. That looks pretty cool, right, y'all? <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. So I think I'm going to make some of these and then get my husband to put like a frame around it. Kind of like in these pictures, how they got a little frame around it. But I need to. What other colors should I use? <laughs> this was fun. Um, yeah, so that how easy was that y'all y'all you can use any paintbrush to fit the older and the frayed out the better or you can invest in some brush it uh, stencil brushes and you can get stencil brushes from essential stencil but that's where i got these from and look it even comes with a little book that like tells you tips and stuff like that um if you go to essential stencil and you use my code hometown paints all one word all in caps then you can get a discount which we all want that right all right so that was fun but while i'm on here let me remind you about this one um this one i'm teaching at the hampton inn next tuesday so today's thursday so like in four days <coughs> <coughs> excuse me it's a 16 by 20 canvas I'm going to draw all of these things on there for you I'm going to walk you through it step by step and teach you guys how to paint that in person it's $35 um, the link is somewhere on my page <laughs> and I can send that to you if you comment uh, I don't know sunflower I'll send it to you but it's coming up so you have to prepay for that if you're thinking I kind of want to go I really need you to pay by Monday because I have to make sure I have enough paint for you and I have to draw it I have to have enough time to draw it on there for you right so I can't really take walk-ins and I can't really take like last last minute Tuesday at four o'clock you know like it's because I don't want all Sorry, I won't have enough time to get it ready for you guys. And I want to have everything ready for you when you walk in. And I want you to have fun. It's going to be fun. Um, so that's it, guys. This cutie pie, if I can get it right, <laughs> is on Essential Stencil. I think I got all three of these. I think it was like, I don't know, $10 or something. It wasn't that much. Maybe $8. Maybe $13. I don't know. <laughs> it wasn't that much. But they will give you some good deals. And they're good reusable stencils that you can use over and over and over. Um, that's it, y'all. I got a class I got to go take in a few minutes. And I will see y'all later. Have a great day.